My name is Yari Lawson, and I'm the founder of Lawson Personal Injury Attorneys. Our law firm is located in downtown Lawrenceville, Georgia, and we specialize in traumatic brain injury, catastrophic injury, and wrongful death cases. Yeah, I was born in Eatonton, Georgia. That is Putnam County, right off Lake Oconee. And I grew up in rural Georgia, in the sticks. It was kind of a very mixed environment. Culturally, I really, you know, I really didn't fit in with a lot of, a lot of the black kids that, that I went to school with. But I think that also helped me to learn other people's culture and learn to be comfortable being myself is what positions me and helps me to like, really be able to connect. Growing up as a preacher's kid with that very traditional Southern Baptist upbringing shaped a lot of who I am and how I think. Being an empath, right, was something that we learned at a very early age. I was the smallest kid. When I first started playing football, I wanted to avoid contact at all costs. I had a group of older cousins determined to drive that fear out of me. Another kid whacked me as hard as he possibly could. And then my cousin says, that's as hard as you're ever gonna get hit ever again in life. I never had a fear of being hit again or being tackled again. I was in for the long haul, right? And I knew that I was made for the moment. Morehouse is the only all-male, predominantly black institution of higher learning in the country. I looked at the brochure and I just saw these different shades of black men doing different things. Some had surgical jackets on, some had ROTC outfits on, some had suits on. And when I saw that brochure, I saw myself. The moment that we turned into the gates, there was a spiritual almost feeling. Walking across the same campus, Dr. King walked across, sitting in the same classrooms that Dr. King sat in. People like Howard Thurman and Benjamin Elijah Mays, Dr. David Satcher, Jay Johnson, Edwin Moses, Spike Lee, Samuel L. Jackson. Every student that leaves Morehouse believes that he will be a trendsetter. Seeing guys who were smarter than me, seeing guys who worked harder than me, like that shaped my work ethic. So you have to earn the right to be called a Morehouse man, to be dignified as a Morehouse man. You carry that legacy. I represent Morehouse. I represent greatness. After I graduated from law school, I started my career as a public defender. After that, I was a prosecutor in Fulton County. Practicing in the criminal space gave me a real opportunity to see how harmful human beings can be to one another. I started to realize that the families and loved ones of those individuals, or the individuals themselves when they were survivors, were not getting justice. They didn't even know that they had rights. I knew that I had the passion, the compassion, the talent, and the drive to go in the courtroom and be one hell of a trial lawyer. I love the fact that I'm from Georgia, number one. Lawrenceville is a very diverse community. How do we make Gwinnett County a safer, better, more robust place to live for the people that live here and for the people that want to live here? As a black attorney, I don't have the same leeway to be average. That motivates me each and every time to be the most prepared attorney in the courtroom. Growing up in rural Georgia, I have an understanding and a relatability to many different types of hardworking, everyday American people across racial lines. This is Atlanta, so it's not uncommon that they see a guy like me practicing law. And the fact that they would call me and they walk into my office and say, I trust you and your skill and your judgment to represent me in one of my most vulnerable moments. I say to my clients, you're getting an individual who's humble, who works hard, who displays compassion for you, and who's going to outwork the opponent. Whenever I get up in front of a jury, I'm not talking for myself. I'm talking for those people that are sitting at that table that have put their trust and their faith in me. Being a student at Morehouse had almost everything to do with the man who I am today. The confidence, the self-identity, the realization of who you are and where you come from, the lineage, the power of that lineage taught me that I'm setting my own standard for excellence. And that's the way I train my staff. That's the way I train younger lawyers to think about their jobs. That's the way that I train my son.
Nothing drives me more than being a father, building a brighter future for my son, removing obstacles that I had to face from his pathway, but teaching him that obstacles exist. And the only way that you will be a successful human being is that you got to overcome this obstacle. Then you have to be humble because once you get over that one obstacle, you've got a new one and it, it, it never stops. I'm living my best life. Having the opportunity to represent beautiful people, it is a tremendous honor. And you say to yourself, you know, this is it. This is why you wake up in the morning and do it every day.